again, Streamlitters. The select box is the best widget for you to use if you're looking to get users to select a single option from a drop-down menu. You can create a select box with st.selectbox. It has two required arguments, the label and the options. As you may remember from all of our other videos, the label is the name for your select box, and the options will be the individual choices that the user can select from. The options can be a list, tuple, numpy array, or a pandas data frame or series. For this select box, I will use the contract underscore options list. Notice that the variable contract selected returns a string from the first option of our contract options list. And just like all our other widgets, you can use this output to dynamically change what is on the screen with if statements. Let's do another example where we use a numpy array for the options. This time, I have a three by three array of numbers that it will pass as the options parameter. I will also add the optional argument index to change the default selected option. Here, I pass in index number for the option I want to be pre-selected. I will use index equals one. In this case, the variable array selection returns another numpy array. And because the array has multiple rows, the options for your user can select from is the entire row. If you want the options to be each individual number from your array, you will need to change the shape of it into a single row or a column of numbers. Ta-da, it's just that easy. Happy streamlining.